Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Kaplan, editor of The Banker. I'm here with Gottfried Liebbrand, who's the chief executive of SWIFT. And we're discussing the issues that are on the agenda at Cybos 2014 in Boston. And Gottfried, I mean, one of the key things is going to be the whole areas of technology and innovation and how the banks can keep up with the, the latest developments there. I mean, what are the particular things that you would pick out there? There's a lot going on. Uh, and, and if anything, the, pick, the pace of change is picking up uh, yeah. for everybody. And that's it. We're here in our own uh, inno innovation uh, lab, the, the SWIFT lab. Um, maybe, maybe highlight a few. I think in the payments arena, we're now seeing a real emergence of, of new models, of person-to-person -person payments, where lots of new entrants are offering even cross-border payments, traditionally offered only, uh, only through the banks and the, the money uh, transmitters. Um, we see big changes in the securities landscape, and there, uh, Target 2 for securities is an interesting development uh, that will, we think, reshuffle the securities landscape, um, uh, the role of custodians versus the role of CSDs, uh, and, and, and what have you. Um, we see uh, changes in, in the basic underlying technology, communications technology, um, I would count the whole cyber issue under, under technology and, and the need for banks, but also for us to, to be vigilant, deal with that and, 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 and up our game uh, in, the, in that area. Um, uh, new, uh, new protocols almost uh, that are the new topologies for networks, uh, the whole cloud, the whole cloud yeah. uh, range I could uh, count. So I, I could keep on going <laughs> on what's going <laughs> okay, on there. All right. just, just okay, because I mean, what, what people are, are saying to me is, you know, and uh, I feel it myself, you know, it's kind of, it's a little bit overwhelming, right? Yeah. And uh, I mean, what you want if you're, let's say you're a, a corporate client of a bank, is to have all this, everything in one place, right? So you want all your bank relationships and your data uh, and all your different relationships on, on, you know, in one place and networked and connected up. Or in the securities area, you know, you want the brokers to connect to brokers, to banks, to, to stock exchanges and all the rest of it. I mean. How far away are we from actually realizing that and getting that sorted out? Uh. Or is that just a dream? Yeah, mm. it, 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 I think the, the ultimate should and, uh, and, and will remain a dream, but um, a lot of progress. Uh, Swift itself, with mm. our proposition for corporates, um, uh, one of the strengths of our proposition for corporates has always been that single window. You get a single view on all your banking relationships. At least in one place, you can see what's happening with all your accounts across a number of banks and send instructions in a, in a, in a, in a single way with a single, uh, single set of keys. Um, if you really want all of that seamless song singing and dancing, then there are some barriers to make that work across multiple banks. And, uh, but a lot of progress is being made. Eh? If you look at, at uh, treasury systems, what you can do now as a corporate treasurer versus what you could do 10 years ago, uh, I think you will, you, you've seen a huge change. You can see it as a private individual. Uh, with all of your mobile banking apps, you can now do on the go what you used to be able to do behind your uh, computer. You can pay people online in a go. You have a multiple range of payment options. Uh, and I, I think quite a lot of progress has been made and will continue to be, uh, to be made there. And how much does the, will the shift onto the cloud you know, I mean, first of all, is it happening and, 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 and how much uh, difference will that make? And I think you said to me one time that, you know, Swift was the cloud before there was a cloud. Or I, I still <laughs> you know, believe that. Yeah. From a customer perspective, we are the, the, the cloud. Mm. Um, uh, and we are increasingly offering new services in a cloud way. So sanction screening that we discussed is a cloud service for our customers. Uh, we're offering our interface and connectivity software through Lite 2 as a cloud service where we essentially host the Swift software uh, for you. Uh, we offer business intelligence, uh, big data, another big trend in technology. We offer our business intelligence services as a cloud service. You don't have to host uh, the stuff at, at your end anymore. So a lot of our new services are offered in a, in a cloud way. Um, and I, I, I would also say one of the let's say one of the evidences of why, why I would argue that we've always been a cloud service is a lot of the issues that come with offering it as a cloud service, data privacy, uh, security, et cetera. We've, we've dealt with those uh, and, and we now see a lot of the new technology providers go through that same learning curve, uh, if, I, if I may say so. Uh, and that's a <coughs> yeah. part of the challenge. I, I mean, I mean tell us on that note, you know, on the cloud, yeah. uh, clearly some people are very worried about the security aspects of it. And, uh, I mean, we're always reading about some new breach of, of security yeah. in, in cyberspace. Actually, the banker's cover story at, at Cybos is going to be on, on cyber security. So, uh, I mean, how near are we or far are we from, from sort of really getting a grip on those kinds of issues? Mm. 
Yeah, maybe distinguish the one for the industry. I think um, it, it is a challenge. At the same time, uh, I think it was Bruce Schneier who, who reacted to the recent announcement of a billion passwords out there. He said the contradiction is that on the one hand, it's worse than ever, but on the other hand, stuff works and people have been able to do all of that. So somehow, security is worse than ever, but at the same time, we're doing more online than we've ever done and it, it doesn't seem to be, to be getting in the way. Um, having said that, I think both the banks and SWIFT are keenly aware that uh, the, the bar is rising here. From a SWIFT perspective, we've always been designed with that in mind. Yeah, we, 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 move, we move information and, and, and money uh, in a way over the network. So SWIFT was designed with the highest standards of, of security and resilience. Um, and we're seeing that now uh, when, we, when we test ourselves against, uh, against others. So we pride ourselves in really being good at it at the same time. I think only the paranoid uh, survive, uh, and I am really paranoid about this. I am conscious that the, the bar is rising, that the skills of, of, of bad guys, the nature of bad guys is, uh, is changing, and the skills that they bring is, is getting, uh, getting better and better. So we really are in a, in a constant mode of, of upping, our, uh, upping our game, uh, employing new technologies, employing new techniques, and, uh, and, and constantly evolving there. Uh, but it will be a core part of what we offer and what the banks offer is security at the end of the day. Yeah. Okay, and let's finally just talk a little bit about big data. You mentioned it there, but yep. uh, uh, um, and it's a bit of a buzzword, right? But uh, you know, how, how can actually banks get some benefit out of this? I mean, they have this massive data. We know it's not joined up, um, but you know, uh, how, where, can, where can they take it? You know? <laughs> yeah, I, I, can, I can answer that question. I mean, for banks, this challenge is huge. If you cut it across all the business segments, from a SWIFT perspective, what, we off, what we've traditionally offered is a tool to get insight into your flows over the SWIFT network. It's called the Watch uh, product. We've enriched that over the years with, with uh, different information about those flows. What currencies am I moving in? Uh, what, what's the value of the flows? Who are my counterparts? Uh, and banks use that as a valuable tool to evaluate their business, to see which countries they're growing, um, how they're growing relative to the market and that provides them a valuable set of, uh, set of data. Uh, the second one that's related to that is what I would call reference data. Um, you know, what, what big codes, uh, names, addresses, routing rules, I-bands and, and all of that. We have a set of products uh, where again boosted by the SEPA adoption when people had to worry about I-bands. We've seen a, a huge take up of, that, of the products in, uh, in that area. Um, so increasingly we see our offering in including some of that uh, some of that uh, data. Okay, let's come back and talk about the flows and the currencies in just a second. <laughs>